I'm off. And go to the gym. I have some packages to return. I have a video to edit and post for today. So if it all went to plan, um, Easter Monday, you got a wasted video. It's not really a jam-packed day. There's just a lot of little things that need to get done. And I'm a homeschooling mom, so I want to make sure I'm on track with everything. So I got my son's grading up to date because I was falling behind a bit. So slowly but surely, as long as we do little behaviors, it eventually compounds. Okay. Just do a little bit every day. So don't tell yourself you have everything to get done. You don't have to um, complete every task that needs to be done. Just know that you've worked on it for a little bit each day and it will add up. <laughs> My setup for my I can do it day I'm following my body cycle and this week this is what it looks like it's gonna want and I'm getting used to this because it's been happening ever since I fixed my gut so I'm gonna start this week with kombucha on an empty stomach I have my mullen leaf tea here let's take a look at the benefits of the mullen leaf and the c19 and then I have my vitamin hungry and very very nauseous so i'll be sipping on this throughout the morning this is a protein shake i don't drink protein shakes throughout the month i only drink it when it's times like this when i know i won't be able to stomach any food of course I have my water i'm starting a new one i finished mine last night usually i will try to have two throughout the day um sometimes i make it to like one and a half and then I'll finish that throughout the morning and just continue. I don't pressure myself to drink too much water. If I get one of these done, it's a good thing. And if I get more, it's an excellent thing, so. Quick carb up before the gym. Is the, um, fear or the apprehension of going outside um what's that called is it agoraphobia or something agoraphobia anyway i realized that i've tricked myself <laughs> into not realizing that i really do have a problem with not leaving like with i have a problem with leaving so i have a problem with leaving um sometimes so like I have lots of opportunities to go out, go places, do things. And I always opt to stay, well not, I often opt to stay home. So I'm gonna change the narrative a bit. And then as simple as it is, going out to the gym instead of using um, the condo gyms, that's a little step. I've been hyping myself up all AM to leave the house. I'm dressed. I um, there's nothing stopping me. I'm going. <laughs> okay, I'm clearing up my gym bag first and then I'm going. So you're trying to hold on to too much time at the same time. You don't need to be concerned about the past. The past has already passed. It's gone. The future hasn't happened yet. 
You're trying to hold on to a future that hasn't existed. What if this happens? If I do this, then this is going to happen. Da, 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 da. No, you can lightly plan for the future. You can have your trajectory so you can say, I want to go this their way. I want to become this. I want to do this. But you only have to plan two steps ahead. You plant your destination. And in order to get there, you don't need to know every single thing or how you're going to get there. You just know you've already planted it. You've intended it. God's going to deal with that. The universe will conspire to help you achieve you reaching that destination. You don't need to think way in the future. You don't overthink. Don't create the wrong thing. Understand that you know you are capable to handle whatever is going to come your way. It's coming. You're not here to stop it. You're here to maneuver. You can maneuver the storm through this storm you can do it you're created to do it <laughs> you're literally designed to handle the storm you only need to know what the next step or two is everything else don't worry about it what if this happened doesn't matter what if that but it doesn't matter you don't need the whole story you need to move just step just step just step I ain't listening to any music. <laughs> so I used to roll down hills when I was a child. Shout out to Natasha. <laughs> and I stopped because I rolled into poop the last time I did it. Now, every day I'm doing something that scares me. But rolling down the hill today will not be it. Maybe tomorrow. I'm sitting here fully grateful. I get emotional because of course there's been so much struggle to get to this place, to get to here. And I don't mean f physically here, although I'm truly grateful to be here. Here. I turn the camera on to simply say I'm grateful. <laughs> and I have that. Everything I've gone through whether I perceived it to be good or bad at the time it was all necessary I want to admit that because things aren't good or bad they just are we perceive them so we mark them as good or bad but it, it's all necessary to redo everything again would I change it I shouldn't. Only one thing. But then if I change that one thing, then would I have gotten to this place? I just, I'm just grateful to be here. <laughs> Flying insects look like bees behind me. I saw something that said like if a bee stings you it's like doing something to heal you so it's like an honor to be stung by a bee it's also sacrificing itself to heal you or something like that I want to look into that but anyway every step was necessary for me to find myself here and I am happy here not to say I'm happy staying here I'm happy to be here. I'm just grateful to be here. I'm talking slow and stuff, right? Just, that's it, just slowing down. Slowing down helps.
been up. <laughs> I've been up, got my day side. That's the kind of ambition I need. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever want a young man. Depends on your circles. through stuff like this so much so that I don't even know where my rock bottom is anymore. I'm so fresh. I
guys? Are they chicks? They have babies.